Mullen Automotive's risk to reward is looking unfavorable. Given its investments in both research and development as well as manufacturing, it is likely that the company will require additional capital in the near future. Despite achieving significant milestones such as initiating vehicle deliveries and making progress in the development of solid-state batteries through its collaboration with global EV technology, Mullen Automotive has witnessed a remarkable decline in its stock, reaching an all-time low. The company remains on track to enhance its delivery numbers later this year. Similar to numerous other electric vehicle companies, Mullen has experienced a substantial double-digit decrease in its stock value this year. By May 5, the stock had plummeted by more than 85 percent, positioning it among the poorest performers in the industry. Mullen's shares have experienced a staggering decline of approximately 97 percent from its peak, reflecting investor concerns regarding the company's business strategy, financial position and the broader landscape of the electric vehicle industry. Notably, Mullen's decline aligns with the performance of other firms that went public through SPACs or reverse mergers. Over the past 12 months, the San P SPAC index has also witnessed a significant drop of around 28%. In 2022, Mullen took part in two acquisitions, namely Bollinger Motors and Electric Last Mile Solutions, with the aim of bolstering its manufacturing capabilities. Although these acquisitions provided valuable facilities and intellectual property, they also had a detrimental impact on Mullen's balance sheet, causing a dent in its financial position. Biting off more than it can chew Mullen Automotive finds itself in a challenging position as a cash-consuming entity, with slim prospects of achieving profitability. History has shown that the path to breaking even for most electric vehicle companies is often a lengthy one, requiring several years after the initiation of vehicle deliveries. For instance, Rivian, supported by Amazon, commenced its vehicle deliveries in 2021. By 2022, Rivian managed to produce around 24,000 vehicles and sell approximately 20,332 cars. Despite this notable progress, the company faced a staggering cash burn of $6.4 billion, setting a record for its financial outflows. According to data compiled by Seeking Alpha, analysts anticipate that Rivian will reach the break-even point in 2027, six years after initiating deliveries. Lucid Motors, with a cash burn exceeding $3 billion in 2022 and its reliance on significant investment, from its largest investor, Saudi Arabia, exemplifies the challenges faced by companies in the EV industry. Even Tesla, the most profitable player in the market, incurred substantial losses before achieving profitability in 2020. Therefore, despite Mullen Automotive's vehicle deliveries, it is reasonable to anticipate that the company will continue to experience significant cash outflows for several more years. Compounding this issue, Mullen has multiple ongoing projects in development that necessitate additional financial injections, without generating immediate revenue. A notable example is Mullen's upcoming Mississippi assembly plant, slated to commence operations in July. The company will need to allocate considerable funds towards this endeavor. According to Mullen's projections, the plant should begin generating profits by September of this year. However, given Mullen's history of frequently missing guidance, it is advisable to approach their estimates with skepticism and caution. Dilution is going to continue the fundamental issue lies in Mullen's ambitious production plans and its insufficient capital to support such endeavors. Historically, successful EV companies, such as Tesla and Li Auto, have achieved profitability by initially focusing on a single brand and leveraging the resulting cash flow to expand their product lineup. Consequently, I anticipate that Mullen Automotive will need to secure additional capital in the upcoming months. Despite reporting a cash balance of over $116.1 million for operations, as of April 30th this year, the company requires a significantly larger sum. This is especially evident when comparing Mullen to its major competitors like Tesla, Rivian, and Lucid, which have access to billions of dollars in funds for their operations and growth strategies. Mullen continues to incur significant financial losses, with its net loss attributable to shareholders surpassing $114 million in the first quarter. Consequently, even if the company manages to reduce its losses in the second quarter, it will still deplete a substantial portion of its cash and short-term investments. Historically, Mullen has relied on convertible bonds and stock sales to finance its operations. As depicted below, the company's diluted weighted average outstanding shares have surged from 207,000 in 2021 to over 43.9 million presently. Given Mullen's stock being at a record low and its market capitalization standing at $162 million, there are limitations to the amount of capital the company can raise. Mullen possesses another potential source of cash in the form of its orders, particularly the significant $279 million order from Randy Motor Corporation, which serves as the primary buyer of Mullen's product. 
However, it is worth noting that Randy Motors has yet to make payment for these orders, as evident from their recent financial results, which did not disclose any revenue figures. Even if Randy Automotive were to fulfill the entire $279 million order, Mullen would still require additional capital due to its ongoing monthly losses amounting to millions of dollars. Seeking capital through debt is another option for Mullen. However, given the current high interest rates and tightening bank liquidity, the company may face challenges in securing affordable financing. Mullen encounters several other obstacles in its business operations, with one of the most critical being fierce competition in its key segments, particularly the Mullen 5 product. Established industry players like Tesla, GM, Ford, and Rivian have already gained a competitive advantage over Mullen and other emerging EV companies. MULN stock exhibits signs of being oversold but carries inherent risks. A glance at the daily chart reveals a continuous downward trend in MULN stock over the past few months. Each attempted rebound has been met with further selling pressure, resulting in the shares consistently trading below all moving averages, and failing to surpass the crucial support level at $4.50, the lowest point recorded on December 2. Various indicators, including the Relative Strength Index, Stochastic Oscillator, and the MACD, indicate that the shares are currently in oversold territory. Consequently, some buyers may be enticed to consider purchasing the stock based on this oversold condition. However, in this particular instance, I am inclined to view Mullen Automotive as a value trap, wherein the stock's price is deceptively low, but the underlying fundamentals suggest that it may continue to decline. Considering the likelihood of another round of share dilution in the coming months, investors are likely to incorporate this factor into their pricing, leading to further downward pressure on the shares. Potential risks to the bearish outlook One notable risk to the bearish thesis is the possibility of the low stock price attracting by the dip traders, potentially leading to a short squeeze. I previously highlighted this concern in the report, considering Mullen's status as one of the popular meme stocks in the Wall Street community. Hence, while the stock may have significant downside based on fundamentals, a scenario where it experiences a temporary rebound cannot be completely ruled out. Another risk to the bearish case lies in potential improvements in the company's business operations. This could occur if Mullen achieves a breakthrough in its battery business or secures a major purchase order. Such developments could positively impact the company's prospects and alter the current negative trajectory. In summary Mullen Automotive faces multiple challenges as it stretches its resources across various vehicle brands, while incurring significant monthly losses. Its path to profitability appears long, taking into account the timelines observed for other well-established EV companies like Lucid and Rivian. Additionally, given the ongoing cash burn, it is likely that the company will need to raise capital in the near future. If you enjoyed the video, please don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. Your support means the world to us and helps us create more great content like this. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.